We're about to try and rate all of your and our favorite items from the largest chain of Asian grocery stores here in the Netherlands. About a month ago, we asked y'all on Instagram to tell us what you love to get from Amazing Oriental, and the results were, well, mixed. It's like rotten onion. Oh, but sweet. <coughs> oh my god. Mmm. <coughs> mmm. Mm. Oh Hello. gosh, this is so good. Hello. We're going to start today by trying this eagle chili sauce which um, oh, with specially chosen materials and specially made very tasty and delicious, guaranteed pure and hygienic. I'm glad it's hygienic. And we're trying it with what is the possibly palest lumpia that has ever been invented. I swear it's cooked. We just don't have a fryer. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's, uh, that's some thick, sweet chili sauce. Yeah. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. It has way more of a vinegary, like smoky chili flavor. Mm then I think uh, what has previously been our favorite mm -hmm. sweet chili sauce. It is still quite sweet, though. This is the new winner. Five stroke waffles. Five stroke waffles. I love sweet chili sauce. Mm -hmm. I love it. Now let's make some kimchi. Michelle, what is kimchi? Kimchi is a traditional Korean side dish. And it's usually, well, it always includes fermented and salted cabbage and then a few other ingredients. It also seems like it's kind of popular here in the Netherlands. Yeah, there are a lot of, I think you, you can get pre-made kimchi at Albert Hein. It's really? in a jar, you know? Uh -uh. And, yeah, I think you can. I mean, I'm not sure how good it is, but. Yeah, I know the kimchi toasties I've seen more oh, than right. more than a few times here. You like those, don't you? What? The kimchi toasties. Oh, I thought you were like asking oh. me about the, the cabbage <laughs> slices that you just made. You like those, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a while. So while we wait for this cabbage to marinate, let's go try some stuff. The first category is y'all's favorites from Amazing Oriental. And a big thanks to y'all who responded when we asked for your picks on Instagram. First up, we have Lumper. And we just had this a few weeks ago in our Indonesian food festival video. Is this, <laughs> is this okay? It's a little distracting. We can do this. Is, can, we, can we show this? Probably gonna have to put a sensor bar over that. Oh my God. It's good to break. It's super sticky. It looks like mustard. Mm-hmm. The filling is a little sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet chicken mm -hmm. with a hint of curry. Well, it's definitely chicken cooked in coconut milk. I'm pretty sure that's where the, the sweetness is coming from. Mm -hmm. This is delightful. Yeah, I think I might eat the rest of these. This is an easy five. Mm -hmm. Easy five. Amazing Oriental is a big chain of Asian grocery stores here in the Netherlands. The first one opened in Amsterdam back in 1986, and they've expanded a lot since then. These stores are enormous and have an incredible variety of specialty items from countries like Singapore, Thailand, and many other places, along with other interesting things. And now we have the Nasi Uduk. This isn't exactly one that y'all recommended. Someone recommended rice wrapped in pandan leaves, but we couldn't find that. So we did stumble across this, which is steamed rice cooked in coconut milk wrapped in a banana leaf with all of these fillings inside. Looks like a savory rice cupcake, you know? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, there's tempeh in there. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a spice too. Mm -hmm. And I thought the rice was going to be sticky, kind of like the lumper, mm -hmm. but it's not. Mm -mm. It's not sticky rice at all. It's just sort of like your regular steamed rice. It's fine. Yeah, this is fine. I wouldn't say like I would go back for it, but no. if someone gave it to me again. Three and a half stroke waffles. Three and a half stroke waffles. Next, y'all recommended mochi, and we got two kinds. We got this maple pancake mochi, and we got this Thai tea mochi. I'm excited about both of these flavors. Oh, it feels like a little boob. It smells. Tell me. Is it similar? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It smells overwhelmingly like maple. Really? Yeah. It definitely smells like a maple pancake. I hate mochi so, so much. Taste a bit like maple pancakes. I think it evokes maple pancakes pretty well. It's definitely but, sweeter. And no, it's like it's like chewing gum that's digestible. Mm hmm I just do not find this mm. texture to be pleasing. I kind of like it. I don't know. I really like mushy things. So the texture is quite pleasing to me. Okay. Rate it. Uh, four stroke waffles. Wow. I'll go with two and a half. It's fine. I love Thai tea. Do you like Thai tea? We get Thai tea in our 2019 throwback vlog video that we put on our second channel. Mm -hmm. that? Mm. Yeah, that Thai food was really How good. How do you describe Thai tea? It's like slightly Earl Grayish, but like really um, condensed milky. There is some sort of florally situation happening. This yeah. smells sweet. Cheers. What is that flavor in the center? Tea? It's that slightly, that floral tea flavor. Mm-hmm. I mostly get that. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't get much of the sugar. 
and a half stroke waffles. Three, three stroke waffles. Wow. Next up, we've got these crispy seaweed chips. I love seaweed. Yeah, me too. It's that's that's a flavor I can get behind <laughs> and a texture. The seaweed, so nice. onigiri, uh, sushi, furikake I, on top of rice. You like furikake? I do. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite things. Okay. So it seems like they're nori strips, except they're just um, slightly crunchier feeling, like they've been hardened. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, Hello. gosh, this is so good. It's crispy, mm -hmm. and it's the perfect thickness, mm -hmm. where it kind of gives you like a little bit of like a chip texture without being too heavy. Mmm. What are they putting on the outside of this? It's so like savory. Five. Five. Five straw bubbles. Those are like this bag will be gone today. Probably today. Probably today. We did also find these seaweed Pringles, which are nothing like seaweed chips. Oh, how do in you that know? Sense. You haven't opened them yet. Oh wow, the chip looks different. It's very speckled. You think it's gonna be better or worse than the seaweed chips we just Way did? worse. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. They're hard. All right. Oh, all right. These are so good. Yeah, these are excellent. They're like thicker Pringles, light seaweed flavor, heavy potato flavor. Yeah, the texture kind of fights back a little bit. These are good. Mm -hmm. These are in more interesting yeah. and probably better for you. I'm going to do four and a half and then keep my five here. Same. Next, we're getting another thing that we just ate at the Indonesian Food Festival. Spekuk. I am not unhappy about getting this again. Yeah, this is not the pandan one that we had mm -hmm. from the Pasar Malam. This is just your regular old run-of-the-mill speckoo. It smells so good. Oh, as an American, it really invokes pumpkin pie to me. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah, even though there is no... I was like, that sentence is never going to go somewhere good. <laughs> oh, Cheers. look at you. It's a little drier mm -hmm. than the speckoo at Pasar Malam. Mm -hmm. It's definitely got like a really... Spicy cinnamon flavor. Cardamom? Yeah, there's cardamom in mm -hmm. there too. I do think I prefer the pandan flavor really? over the original. Bakuk in general is five stroke waffles. This one is a four to me because mm. it's just it's it's dry. A, it's a little dry. All right, four. Yeah. And last for the uh, your picks category, we've got the white rabbit candy. First time Michelle and I ever had white rabbit candy. We bought it and we were eating it in the car. And I remember we took them out of the wrapper. And uh, we thought that they were um, like the wrapper was stuck to the, yeah. the candy. It's weird in the beginning. It's not good in the beginning. You definitely taste like you're sucking on a wrapper. Mm -hmm. I you know, know what that's, that's like. like. But but when the wrapper dissolves, it's like a little slow release vanilla milkshake. And I don't you, know how else to describe it. You can't bite on it because if you do, you will have a dental emergency. Yeah, you'll pull out any fillings in your head. Mm. Five. Five stroke waffles. They're so milky. Oh my gosh, milk powder and butter. Wait, there's butter. Mm hmm. Looks there's like so good. butter in this. And vanilla. Yeah, five stroke waffles. Those uh, are great candy. Obviously, not every city in the Netherlands will have an amazing Oriental, but most of them will have at least one Toko. A Toko is a shop that sells Asian food items, and the word Toko comes from the Indonesian word for shop. These stores offer spices, sauces, noodles, rice, fresh vegetables, and other ingredients for Asian cuisine. That said, since Amazing Oriental is such a big store, there were a lot of things that we had never seen before. So we grabbed a few things that looked particularly interesting to us. I'm just now realizing that despite what I just said, we're just eating bao. Yeah. Spicy pork bao. We've I've, had this before. I've definitely had this before. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll just sit here and let it cool. Actually, give me a topic. Um, Your first time. I don't really remember my first time, but I think... It was with you in San Francisco. I don't think I had had bao before that. Wow, really? That mm -hmm. was the first time you had bao? Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at that. <gasps> so good. Jeez, I hope the steam's coming through on the camera because it is it is a steamy boy. Was it as steamy for your first time? No, it was not. Oh, God. So it's basically just like spicy pork filling inside of a, a exterior that is sort of like soft bread. I don't know a better way to explain it. Somewhere in between marshmallow and bread. I'm scared it's going to burn my mouth. It's not as soft as the one from Dim Sum. Probably because it wasn't one of those like steaming containers. It was microwave. And it's now starting to get hard mm -hmm. yeah, on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe. Did it get hard when you for your first time? I think I might have put it in too long. This isn't great. No, this is kind of a bad bow. It's actually like even in the Netherlands, it's not that hard to find good dim sum. Mm -hmm. So don't get bow at home. Just yeah. go um just go to a go to a Chinese restaurant and get dim sum. Yep, I agree. You get a Shanghai Papa in Rotterdam. Easy. Um, 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 two, 
two stroke waffles. Two stroke waffles. If I ate this for lunch and because I bought it, I wouldn't be unhappy about it. No, just, the I would, pork inside is pretty good too. I'm but, just not gonna get it again. Yeah. I am so excited about this next one. This is um Wanderfort noodle sausage. And they had four different kinds. They had like pork, chicken, something else that sounded somewhat normal, and then they had noodle sausage. Oh, wait, so and the others weren't like pork noodle sausage? No, no, this is the only one that was noodle sausage. Is it vegetarian? Oh, well, probably, no, the first ingredient is 28% chicken. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be ramen noodle flavored. That's why it's noodle sausage. Oh, so it's like chicken ramen, which is why. Oh, why is it so pink? I don't know. Oh. I was definitely hoping this was going to be uh, more sure? like a hot dog when I unfurled it we don't need to cook it yeah it says it's ready to eat <laughs> no no it's kind of spongy it's really spongy lunch meat ham oh <gasps> yeah not the texture but the taste of lunch meat ham like um the cheap lunch meat ham mm -hmm. is this just for this yeah it's just for snacking two and a half strobe waffles who it's not the worst thing I've had, but like, I, I'm not going to get it again. There's a lot of things about it that are unappetizing, including mm -hmm. the color. Next, we have durian egg rolls. And these aren't egg rolls in the uh, Chinese restaurant sense. I think they're like crispy uh, cookies. I have you had durian before? Mm -hmm. Once it was like a little fried puff pastry with durian inside yeah. of it. So we haven't actually ever had real durian. I've had durian ice cream. It doesn't smell good, but it's not because it smells like durian. It just kind of smells like. No, I think it smells like durian. Oh, it smells inedible. Oh, I don't like it. It smells like a buttery cookie, but somewhat inedible. It kind of smells like, like, you know, when you first start to smell gasoline at the gas station? Yes. That first initial kind of vapory smell. I mean, I think people like durian. I just think it's the smell that's off-putting. Oh. Oh, no. It tastes like that, too. It tastes like that first smell of gasoline. Oh, it tastes like you're not supposed to be eating them. Mm -hmm. Ew. Zero, oh, bad. Zero strobe waffles. There's nothing redeeming about that. The texture is nice, but I can't get past it. Well, Michelle, the good news is the next thing we got is frozen durian. I've read that durian actually, like, loses some of its pungent this when you um freeze it so i'm kind of hoping that maybe that's what we're gonna get today it smells oh. like fresh fruit no it doesn't it smells like farty pineapple like bad pineapple oh the texture it's very meaty yeah it's fibrous yeah it's more fibrous than i thought it was gonna be gooey yeah i really thought this wasn't gonna be like the camera's not on michelle oh, <laughs> uh. oh wow Really? It's like rotten onion. Oh, but sweet. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like if if an if an onion was dessert. One time we went to his mom's house, I think for the fourth of July, and she made burgers and she cut onions with the knife, and then she used the same knife to cut the watermelon, and then we ate the watermelon, and it was really gross. Kind of reminds oh, me. Oh, we of like onions. This yeah, this is worse than that, but it's kind of the same vibe. I don't hate it. Like I understand how this can lend to like a very nice dessert with durian in it mm -hmm. because I love onions. Mm -hmm. So like the onionness of it, the fact it's like combined with like a weird like creamy fruity milky thing, I don't hate that. But like it is odd. I'm gonna give it two and a half strope waffles because I see the potential, but like I don't want to eat it like this again you yeah feel me? yeah i would give it 0.5 strobe waffles in this mm -hmm. kind of presentation yeah, it's better than the cookie i would give it two strobe waffles as a fruit as a fruit overall yeah. yeah okay before we get to our favorites there's a bit more we need to do with this kimchi michelle what does this remind you of um i can't say it reminds me of anything actually oh. does it remind you of something no. So what do we like to eat kimchi with? I generally like to eat it with Korean barbecue. I mean, not to speak for you, but I know you really like to eat it with stews. A key element of kimchi is the fermentation process. So unfortunately, that means we're not going to be able to eat this right now. We're going to have to wait a few days. So in the meantime, let's try the rest of our amazing Oriental haul. All right, it's time to try some of our favorite things that we found at Amazing Oriental. 
Starting with this banana milk. Ooh. Oh. I don't want a whole can of it. No. Why I, is the can so big? I want a shot of banana milk. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. Mm. It tastes remarkably like milk and banana. I'm going to do four stroke waffles. Yeah, I'll do four stroke waffles. Here's another favorite beverage. It's the melon soda from Japan. And this is not the OG. I believe the OG is the uh, Fanta mm -hmm. melon soda. That's the one we've been trying this to get. This is dripping. It's very humid outside. It is extremely humid outside. Every time we go to Japan, I go out of my way to get it. It is unbelievably sweet. Yep. Like it is extremely sweet. And I do not normally go for things that are this sweet, but I do love the melon flavor and it's a nice little special treat. It's not as sweet. I don't hate the fact that it's not as sweet. It does have fake sugar in it, though, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, the melon flavor is kind of different, too. Yeah. This is weird because I know the Fanta one is definitely has like a melon extract in it. But for some reason, this tastes like ultra fakey. This tastes like a melon high chew. Yeah, it just doesn't capture the same yeah. flavor. It doesn't have that green flavor. Yeah. You know, melon soda, five. This soda, three stroke popples. I had one more point I wanted to make. Oh, I'm sorry. It has a little bit of a bubblegum flavor in general, <gasps> not just it. this, all yeah. melon soda. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah melon soda, five um, stroke waffles. This is, uh, what'd you give it? Three. Yeah, I'll give it a three. Okay, next are two of our like favorite, favorite things. Like those other things were things that we saw that we're like, yeah, I really like those things. The next two things are things that we get regularly mm -hmm. and love. Yep. Starting with the carbonara bulldog ramen from Korea. I know this one is hyped up, but it is, it lives up to the hype. We've tried the other flavors mm -hmm. and they're just not as good as carbonara. Yeah. It's like a cheese, cheese powder with a lot of herbs in mm -hmm. it. So I think it's just like a, a white cheese flavor with a ton of parsley flakes in it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. First bite's the most difficult. Oh my God. It is so good. Wow. It's the first bite's really <laughs> spicy. It builds like you're eating it and you're like, oh, it's got a little kick and now that I'm like feeling it, it's like your mouth just starts to get really hot and then it kind of like goes into your ears a little bit, but nothing beats that creamy, like cheesy flavor with the hot spice. Like anything that is that like dairy-y flavored mixed with spice is just absolute perfection. It's so good. Five stroke waffles. This is amazing. And I got the hot chicken flavor also from Bulldog. I think this is the default. This is like they're just regular spicy chicken flavor. And um, I've actually never had this before. It's the 2X spicy. I normally only get one. And uh, I got the two because uh, there was recently an article in the news. Apparently in Denmark, they banned the 2 and 3X spicy mm -hmm. um, because it was too spicy. I think it's going to be edible, but I don't think it's going to taste very good. I just like couldn't I smell. I feel it. What? I, I feel it. I just can't imagine it's got any other flavor but spice. <laughs> oh, my God. <coughs> Woo! I'm ready, Huma. Talk to, talk to it us. It builds. Just like you were talking about it builds, but man, it builds. It's like the it, it, Carbonara builds into here. It's like it just keeps, it's like, if you've ever played The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> what? So when you play um, the final boss, uh, it like shows his health bar and it goes to the normal amount, but then it just keeps going. That's what this is like. Do you want some noodle wieners in it? No. I'd say if you like spicy food, just stick with a regular spicy. Mm -hmm. You do not need to get 2X. Oh, I can't talk. Hold on, there's one more thing you need to say. All right, so I do think that's everything. And we'll check in with you all in a couple of days uh, when the kimchi is ready. <laughs> all right, it's been a few days and it's finally time to try that kimchi that we made at the beginning of the video. What do you think? I think it looks like kimchi. Yeah? And when I've been burping it, it smells like kimchi. Okay. So I am hopeful that it will also it tastes like tastes kimchi. Like that kimchi. is the last step, isn't it? Yeah. The one thing that I am nervous about is when we were at Amazing Oriental, the chili powder I could get was only the extra spicy one. Um, so I'm nervous it's going to be really spicy. I have something to tell you. What? I tried a little bit of it yesterday. It's pretty spicy. <gasps> Ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, really spicy. Oh no. Oh, it is <clears throat> very spicy. It's really spicy. It's activated like every salivatory gland in my mouth. It is less spicy than the 2X spicy ramen. Yeah. I think it's about as spicy as your carbonara ramen. Ooh, I think it's like a little bit spicier than that. 
but and do the, one more bite. The flavor is really good. <clears throat> yeah, it is a really it's a slow burn. It takes a minute to hit you. Yeah. And um, you definitely taste uh, like the kimchi. Mm -hmm. And it still has a bit of the crunch to it. I think this would be really good in like a kimchi fried rice or a kimchi toasty where you have like other elements that would actually like um, pare down the the just intense spiciness of this. Yeah. It's not supposed to be the spicy. No. It can be. It's not supposed to be. What's your favorite thing to get from Amazing Oriental or really any toko? Did we try it today in the video? Did we miss it? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to see a video of us trying a bunch of popular Dutch foods from a grocery store here in the Netherlands, give this video a watch next. As always, thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Till done.